Hallelujah. So we need to be mindful and careful. You know that God has given you a gift and He's not taking it back. It's also a lesson for man. Most of us, I remember when we were young, when well, younger than this, I'm still young, when we were younger than this, when we are playing with our fellow friends and we had a quarrel, whatever you have given him since, he begin to demand it back. That is not the nature of God. When God gives you something, He has given you. But what can change is that it can change you if you are failing to meet up responsibility and it will replace you with someone. Now, if you remember, then there are times that it is it doesn't even replace you, it just do many other things outside you. In 2 Kings chapter 5, if you read from verse 25 to 27, the Bible records about Geazi. Geazi left the anointing he started chasing clothes money and things look at what 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 the man of god said elisha elisha was speaking to him. he said elisha said to him that is not true my heart was with you when the man turned from his chariot to meet you this is not the time to take money clothes olives graves sheep cattle or men and women servant now you are you and your children we catch naaman's disease there are many people catching evil disease Daddy G was telling us the other day, he said a man, he, uh, he said he cannot sleep. And he asked 14, I said, pray for me and take my 14 houses, let me just sleep. He said, no, he said, take your house away. I don't want house that will not let me sleep. But there are many people that will jump to collect those houses. There are many people that will jump to collect money because you pray for people. Don't merchandise the anointing of God. Let people minister to you, they need to minister to you. Don't lose it. The moment you lose it, you are gone. You are way gone. It's terrible. And they has lost everything. Like this is the portion of Elisha. You can imagine that. But he lost everything. And that's why the Bible said to us in Genesis 25-34. He saw despise the bad tribe. People that despise the anointing, people that despise grace. They, they, they are messed up. He saw despise this firstborn blessing and he, he preferred to eat food. Don't be like Esau. Don't be like the Aziz. They love them.